Uh, yeah, thank you uh, for a good presentation. And I think this is probably a, a fun project for you, uh, I think. Right. Okay. okay, let's move on to the next uh, team, uh, team number nine. Oh, team number two, I'm sorry, uh, team, num oh, team number nine. Team number, team number nine, Joseph and uh, Prem, yes. Yeah. So, Is that on the top? So normally when we, um, for the file explorer, um, it has very, it's very limited in how we can organize things. For example, name, date, size, and type and text. But if a person was trying to organize it based on, um, for example, if they were doing some sort of machine learning um, work and they need to organize it based on color to have a better understanding of how um, their algorithm is working, then they would need to organize it based on color. Um, so what we did in our algorithm was we organized based on red, green, and blue. So in the next slide, I'll, I will, I'll talk about how we exactly did this. Next slide. So we did this by um, renaming our files based on the color intensity. So we would have the, um, if we were organizing based on red, the least red color with the least amount of red would be one and the most would be the highest number of files you have folder. And this could be done with the three primary colors. Next slide. And we do this by having color palettes. So each uh, image has a color palette. And what we do is we take the average of the color palette and then we um, use that as our color intensity, basically. So the higher the, uh, if it reaches a certain threshold, then it's red. If it reaches a certain threshold, then it's green and so on. And then for the um, sake, sake of simplicity, we did the 24-bit palette, uh, which uh, targets red, green, and blue. And yeah, next slide. So we do this for um, based on mass. Um, we just take the... Um, Yeah, and then next slide, um, Joseph will explain more the code more in detail. All right, well, let me let me actually exp uh, explain this part a bit more. So basically, like the the slide, I I want to like uh, show you how why this is pretty simple. Okay, like or explain it a bit. So you do um, look at those hexadecimal values, FF for red mask, like 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 the uh, two Fs over here, two Fs over here, two Fs over here. So in one number, you have the information for all three colors. And if you're wondering what this is, this alpha mask, that is for 32-bit um, bitmaps. So like if your picture is transparent, this was a extra feature that was in, the, was in the library. We didn't use it, but just letting you guys know. So... Look over here, like when we have 255, that is the maximum intensity of the red. That's like, that's as red as you're going to get. And we have zero for green and zero for blue. So with that, that's purest and most red. And over here, you got 255, 100. It gives you a bit of an orange color. Um, the primary colors, if you're like a painter, is like a 
red, yellow, blue, but in this case, it is for whatever reason, computers do it with red, green, blue, which is why if you think about it, red, yellow, yeah, that makes orange, makes sense. Max red, max blue, a little bit of green, you got this purple color. If you have all three of these maxed out, you have white. And uh, uh, don't worry about these uh, hues and saturations, we're not dealing with those. So, uh, how is this? How how is this algorithm work? This is the main thing, the main thing. So, we got these three channels. We got um, for each we're going uh, for each of those uh, bytes. Uh, was it? This is much more like a, we split. We basically split those uh, three FFs into these uh, integers. Makes the mathematics a lot more simple. This variable, we're going, to, uh, we're going to get the average of the colors, right? We want to get an average of the colors. And this function in particular, this algorithm, like the, the, uh, this version of the algorithm is specifically finding how much, how red the picture is. How much red is in the picture. So... Uh, we need uh, the, this variable will be used for the amount of pixels, uh, and that will be the because that will be the amount of pixels we're gonna divide it by for the average color. Uh, here with these three channels, we are uh, we're recording every sing uh, like the three colors or the th uh, the RGB of every single pixel, and just go through it with this uh, two for loops. And once we get all those, we calculate them into this sum. And uh, uh, so, like this is just for red, like the like the uh, like we uh, if because you know if you mix colors, you're gonna have. Uh, you're going to have like, uh, in some cases, you're going to have mix. It's not always just going to be one color. So I thought, okay, how do I make sure that if we have, let's say, white, which is all three, 255, how do I deal with that? Well, I subtract them, like uh, blue divided by two, green divided by two. And then when you take the sum of that, then it's going to be zero. The average uh, would be zero. I mean, the sum would be zero for that particular pixel. If you had just white, then the average would be zero. So complexity, I think, I'm pretty sure this is like a ON. This is a linear complexity because we're not thinking about, we're, we're, not, we're, not, uh, we're not doing anything complicated. All we're doing is just reading all the values of the, of the picture. All, every single pixel we just read it off we're, we're not doing anything especially complicated and there's like a limited amount of operations can you go back to the previous slide sorry uh, to interrupt you right so there is a nested for loops uh, there are two nested for loops um, so you have a height and width yeah. so the end you're talking about here is number of pixels it's not height or width only, right? It's height multiplied by width. Yeah. That's why you have an N. So N is total pixel. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. That makes sense. And then uh, later, I'll, in the later slides, I'm going to show here why I'm mentioning this inser insertion sort. Um, that that's not the that it did it could have been any sort. I just picked it because it was the quickest to uh, test the algorithm. I'll I'll show you what you mean with this. What I mean with this. So first things first. This is a multi-step process. This is a, it's a very simple like three-step process. Step one, you get all the file names. You want to get all the file names of the pictures that you're gonna uh, you're gonna organize. And you want to store that into an array. Step two, you want to place all those pictures into that uh, into this BMP. This is this uh, it's a um, that library. We gotta we gotta store all those pictures into the appropriate file type, which is this 
for uh, men's for BMPs, and I made a vector of those to hold all the pictures. So I get all those, and then I call the function. So this averages. This is a this is an array that's going to hold all those averages that we're getting from the various pictures. So over here, this this function, we're getting that return value and we're storing it. And if you're wondering why I named this bra, it's because it was kind of a comment, it was giving me trouble when I was trying to uh, <laughs> get the vector, get, uh, get a vector of a struct. That I had to get a bit of help with that. But <laughs> no, uh, nothing more than that really. And then step three, organize. This is the, this is the last part. We use that insertion sort uh, on, on the averages on the average values and we have of course the position of the average value and the position of the file name we've been keeping track of that so that's why we have we're setting we are rearranging both the averages and the file name but of course we're not comparing the file name we're just comparing the average values and victory so all we got to do now is now store these files. We're just copy pasting these files and we're, ma uh, we're having them, we're changing the file name so we get a, like a number, like if we append the file name with a, the number, the ranking, so to speak, on how intense that color was. So if it was like really red, then it's all the way at the bottom. If it doesn't have that much red or like any at all compared to the rest then it's going to be the first one you see it's going to be like file zero underscore and then the file name dot bmp and then what i'm going to show you right now i'm going to show you right now so let me open my, my vm so this is the previous results delete that so we got all these different flags. Some of them I kind of just made up to show you the test, like to, 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 to for better illustrate the test. And compile just because why not. Execute. And bam, all those pictures just got generated. And we see from 0 through 18, which is all 19 of the flags that I decided to include, which is all of them and uh, I think I didn't, didn't mention this but over here the way we're reading off all these files is in this text file I told it which of the pictures to include or which of the files to include because obviously we don't want to include the readme or the license or any of that other stuff so right here we've got like you're wondering okay why is this Red, why is this slightly red thing ranked lower than this, this uh, blue and yellow? That's partly because the green has overwhelmed the red value, and it also could be potentially that the red value is low, like it's maybe 100 out of 255. But then as you further progress, you see it gets more and more red like uh, you're wondering okay what's the difference between the Iraqi flag and the Venezuelan flag in terms of redness well you know color mixing this is a kind of orangish stripe right here so clearly we have a little bit more red over here than we have in the Iraqi <laughs> flag and all the way to this uh, Libya but red flag previously it used to be just like a is a shade of green, just one shade of green, but I just recolored it to red so that it makes more sense to include it here and organize better to demonstrate. But yeah, that's it. The, oh, wait, what is this? Oh, yeah, I'm on the VM. That's it. That's, uh, that's the algorithm. If you guys have any questions, if you felt like I went too fast, you want to you wanna talk about it, just uh, send me a question right now. Uh, actually, I, I think uh, this is actually a, a fun project, sounds like. Um, did you come up with the idea yourself or you got the idea from some some other place? No. 
So you got the idea. What uh, uh, we got this idea by ourselves. Uh, the the we how we were going to go about it was a little different. But as for the idea itself, no, like uh, the special thing about that, like like the one of the things I'm most proud of was not using a, a library with a lot of overhead. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were originally planning to use OpenCV, and I was like, wait a minute. A picture is just a bunch of pixels with, with like, it's, it's just a bunch of pixels. It's an array of pixels with colors in it. It's, like an, it's a bunch of blocks. Why the heck do I need all, something that big? There's, like, these, there's some operating systems like a temple os which had this like really short graphics library the whole operating system is like less than a hundred thousand lines long and uh the graphics from that reminded me of bitmaps i read about bitmaps a bit more it's like okay bitmaps are like the perfect way of quickly being able to um manipulate files and understand how to organize them and other things there's like there's some other functions uh, I have that I didn't use that helps me understand it. Uh, like I had made a fun uh, this really big function for filling filling up what's it called. Uh, like let's say I have I want to replace the blue on the Serbian flag. I made it so that I you could ask the user to change it from let's say blue to green and mm. the intensity of the color. As a matter of fact, if you want, I can just, I'll forget it. Or or maybe. It's okay. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Thank you so much for, for the, uh, in in depth presentation about your, uh, implementation. Yeah. He did a great job, especially this is original idea. Good job. All right. Thank you very much. So the next team is uh, team number six.